Hey everybody, Mako. Uh, this is the second attempt at trying to do this whole Mako radio thing. And uh, I forgot to mention yesterday that uh, congratulations to Germany for winning the World Cup. Um, and also congratulations to Argentina. You put up a hell of a fight. And uh, I don't usually watch football or soccer, as we say in the States, which I don't understand why. Um, but uh, I guess just not to confuse us Americans with because we called football football after football around the world was called football anyway it's yeah there we go that's what we do in America um, so anyway congratulations to all the teams really all the countries but uh, it was a really 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 good game uh, I don't watch it much but uh, it was it was fun and uh, exciting up until literally like the last few minutes of the game um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, read a couple of questions that have already come my way. And I know everyone's sending uh, you know, in some great, great, great comments, questions, topics, and stuff, ideas. And uh, I can't get to them all in each um, you know, video that I do, but uh, know that I will try to get to them all as this series uh, keeps going. And I will try to do... Um, as many videos as I can. I won't be able to do them every day, but I will try to do it. And questions you may have asked in, say, the last video that I'm not answering now, I very well could talk about in the upcoming videos. So anyway, here we go. Um, so the first question is, Mako, would you make a TG video of The Sims 3? And uh, for those who don't know, Mega Racer 25 has actually created um, sim characters based off Miss Mako and Alex and um, I've actually never played Sims 3 I don't have it um, so I actually at this point probably wouldn't make a video um, I know you have and they're fun to watch but uh, I think I'd have to play it for a little while and get to know it to make some kind of you know actual transformation or, or video with Sims 3 uh, so next question Flipping hell, 20 years. Yeah, I know. And you're not that old. <laughs> Thank you. That was cool to hear. Um, okay, obvious question. How much do you think the TG fantasy scene has changed in that time? Um, I think a lot when it comes to independent works. Meaning that it's the internet has given us uh, a lot of freedom to share, to do work that maybe most people would never have seen. So... There's the consumer part of TG Fantasy that's kind of always been around um, in, uh, you know, TV or movies or anime like Ron Ranma. Um, and uh, a lot of comedies have done a lot of TG uh, Fantasy stuff. But um, I think it's changed very radically. I know in the mid-90s when I started uh, putting stuff on the TSA, which is the Transformation Archive, um, a lot of other people started doing the same thing and over the years it just kept growing and you started being introduced to more artists and more authors and and people who just create content and I I think that's awesome um, what's interesting is it was kind of the golden age there for a while and it's in my opinion it's kind of like not bottomed out but it's kind of become level in terms of, of like how much stuff is being done um, and I think that the demand for people for TG fantasy content is fairly always high, but maybe the output isn't as much as it used to be because it's not as new for a lot of people. And uh, how much new content can you really create? I mean, even I, know, I have a hard time, you know, creating new content. It's not as easy as it probably looks. Um, next question, will there be a master and servant too? Um, you know, Ren and I have actually talked about it. I mean, I, we were kind of shocked at how popular the the short had become and and the series in general is actually doing pretty well um, and for those who don't know uh, we've actually been releasing a video every month and so I've been releasing one on my channel uh, and then Ren's also been releasing new ones on her channel if you haven't realized that so she's actually got I think two episodes on her channel uh, that are the Mako and Ren series and we actually have more coming up so but as far as the master and servant 2 uh, there currently are no plans to do another one um, but you never know I mean I you know I always say like a year ago I never thought I'd be doing what I'm doing now so 
you never know. Um, next question, what is your next transformation video coming out? Uh, probably next month. Um, I know, again, Mako, the Mako and Ren series, Ren Adam series, we'll have another new video uh, that I'll probably be posting in August. And uh, I am working on a couple more Mako collection videos. Uh, not as much as I used to. Um, it takes time to turn these things around. So it's, you know, it, and I'm finding myself with less and less time. In fact, I, I can't believe I'm actually doing this right now with you guys. So, um, but I, you know, I've already, I think I released three videos this month, which is a lot. So, no, no, not, sorry, not three videos, but I released two videos and a comic. So I'm still doing the Paradox Alice 2 uh, comic every month. So issue five came out at the beginning of this month. And um, I'll be doing that every month. I mean, we literally like we can spend the next couple of years doing this Paradox LS2 comic uh, series, which is a sequel to the movie I made. Uh, and then Ren released um, the last uh, Mako and Red Adams series show, which was um, To Be or Not To Be. And then um, I just recently released the Mako uh, collection uh, comic video, which is um, How I Met Your Mother which is actually doing really well and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and then I'm doing this little series here, which is kind of easy. I mean, basically I'm just recording in front of a camera and a mic and it's a lot easier than actually putting together a story and blah, 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 blah. So anyway, the next one will probably be next month. So there you go. Um, next question, where is Miss Mako? She's hibernating. She's sleeping, so. Um, yeah, Miss Mako's hibernating. Let's just say she's hibernating at the moment. Um, next question, and here's this is kind of the topic. Uh, are horror movies getting stale and predictable? Uh, I thought a lot about this question because I'm a huge horror fan. And it's not an easy question to answer because personally for me, I say no. Um, I think there's been some very, very good horror movies that have come out in the last couple of years. But I'm also more into the supernatural horror. I'm not as much into the slasher horror. And I have to say that there haven't been a lot of like slasher horror films lately. And so that might be why it feels stale or predictable. But I've really enjoyed like The Conjuring was great. Mama was great. Sinister was great. Insidious was great. Um, I've liked the VHS series, I think one and two. They had some really, really good shorts. And, you know, and it's like an anal uh, well, I can't even say it. it's like creep show, um, with different stories in, a, in an overall movie with a with a theme that's tied to it. Uh, and I think even like Byzantine was a vampire a vampire movie that came out last year, and it's kind of was my favorite. It's been my favorite vampire movie since Let the Right One In, which came out last decade. Uh, so uh, I I actually don't think it is stale. Um, and I don't think it's predictable. Like some of these movies I named off um, take different spins on things. And I kind of feel like horror in, in general takes chances because it can. It's more independent. Um, it's, it's, it doesn't cost as much money. Um, and I think they take more chances than, say, like standard, you know, uh, fair movies. Um, so anyway, yeah, sorry. I don't I actually don't think so. I think, you know, you can really find some good stuff out there that's been recently made. Uh, and last question for this, because i got to wrap it up. What's your opinion on the fairly recent rise of more brutal, gory horror, Final Destination, Saw, Hostel, and its spawn? You know, I actually liked the first Saw movie. Um, I thought it was actually well-written, and it had some good twists in there. So it wasn't just about, like, the gore to me and the gore porn. Um, Hostel had some interesting ideas, and it was kind of creepy and scary in that way. Um, Final Destination was, like, a bit more of a supernatural film for me but uh, I tend to not like um, brutal or gory horror uh, it's not my thing um, which is kind of funny because I'm the guy who like likes horror transformations right with like American werewolf in London and you know and David transforming into a werewolf in front of your eyes and screaming and all that kind of stuff but when it comes to like slasher films and people getting cut open and and just like people's faces getting ripped off and heads blown up. like it's it doesn't do anything for me I just like eh, it's okay you know I, I I'm not into like that kind of stuff one of my favorite movies actually is Halloween the original Halloween by John Carpenter which was like kind of one of the pinnacle slasher movies and um, 
if you actually watch that movie, there's like I don't think there's any gore whatsoever in there. Yet it's incredibly creepy. It's 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 so well done, and it's an indie movie. It was done for, I don't know. I I'm probably gonna get this wrong, but maybe thirty thousand dollars or something, or three hundred thousand um, dollars. And it's to this day, it still it holds up really well. It's better than most other horror films that have come out. So um, anyway, keep the questions coming, uh, and uh, I will do my best to try to get on here and answer them for you or talk about any topics. It doesn't have to be about movies. It doesn't have to be about transformations or games or any of that kind of stuff, but we can talk about that stuff. I can bring it up and give you my opinion. It can be more personal stuff. Um, you know, in terms of like, you know, gender issues or politics or whatever, because I am here to serve you guys. Kind of. Anyway, take care. See you later.